Welcome back to the development of quantum mechanics on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, in this video, we're going to do an example problem for black body radiation. I've actually seen a problem very similar to this in a physical chemistry textbook. And so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the sun's temperature, assuming it can be modeled as a perfect black body. Then we want to also calculate its maximum emission wavelength using Wien's displacement law. All right, so here's what we're going to do. So we've got the power output of a radiated body as a function of temperatures given by the function to the right. So the power output of any black body is given by A times sigma times E times the temperature to the fourth power. All right, so first of all, what is sigma? Sigma is a constant, okay? It's 5.67 times 10 to the eighth watts per square meter per Kelvin to the fourth. E is how good of a perfect black body are we talking about? One is a perfect black body, zero is not a black body at all, and so it can be any decimal between zero and one, okay? We're going to assume that the sun can be modeled as a perfect black body, so our E is just gonna be one, all right? A is the surface area of the sun, and recall that the area of a sphere, which is what the sun is, is four pi r squared, and our radius of the sun is 6.96 times 10 to the eighth meters. And we're also given the power output of the sun, which is 3.85 times 10 to the 26 watts. Wow. All right, so we're gonna take this formula, our power output for a black body, and we're gonna solve it for T, since we wanna determine the temperature. So I've already have it, I already, already have it solved down here. So the temperature of a perfect black body, in this case our sun, is going to be the power output of the sun divided by all this, 4 pi r squared sigma e. All right. And notice for this area, I've already made the substitution of area being pi r squared. And then when you get this quotient, you then take its fourth root. So now I'm going to plug numbers in. The power output is 3.85 times 10 to the 26 watts. Divide by 4 pi, divide by the square of the radius of the sun, 6.96 times 10 to the 8th meters, square that. Then divide by sigma, this constant, 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8th watts per square meter per Kelvin to the 4th. Then divide by E, but we're assuming that's a perfect black body, so it doesn't really do anything. Divide by 1. Take that quotient, and when you take the fourth root of that, you get that the temperature is approximately 5,779 Kelvin. That accomplishes our first point here. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate the wavelength of maximum emission using Wien's displacement law. And this law basically says that if you take the emission maximum of the black body times its temperature, it has to equal a constant, which is 0.2898 times 10 to the negative second uh, meter Kelvin, all right? So let's use this number and the formula, but we're solving for the emission maximums we need to divide through by temperature. So the emission maximum is equal to this constant, 0.2898 times 10 to the minus second meter Kelvin, and then we divide through by T, so divide by the temperature we just found, 5779 Kelvin. And it turns out that our lambda max, our maximum emission wavelength, is 5.01 times 10 to the minus seventh meters. And if you multiply by 10 to the 9th as a conversion factor, this is about 501 nanometers. Okay? So hopefully that gave you some intuition on how to actually um, determine the maximum emission wavelength and also calculate the temperature of the sun. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. In the next video, we're going to discuss the photoelectric effect, which has to do with Albert Einstein. Thank you.